Greetings, greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our soon coming King. Uh, there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. There is greatness in the name of Jesus Christ. And there is knowledge in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is my King, He is my Savior, He is my Lord. Greetings again in the name of Jesus. This is your host, host Apostle here in the presence of God tonight or this morning wherever you are click the share button there's a powerful topic that i want to go depths in tonight in the name of jesus christ of nazareth there's a power powerful topic that i want to go into bible study tonight with you guys in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and before I even go any further, I'm asking everybody that is watching the live right now, get your pen, get your paper, and get your Bible. Because I'm going to dissect the Word of God because I want you to know the knowledge of God. As the Word of God said in St. John chapter 8 verse 32, You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. I said that in St. John chapter 8 verse 32. It said that you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Not set, but make you free. Now, now, I, my topic tonight is that no, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. No witchcraft, no cult, no stronghold can come against the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me say it again. Tonight's lesson is that no no witchcraft, no cult or cultist or stronghold can come against the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let's get depths and deeps in the pages of scripture. And as I said before, get your pen and get your paper and get your Bible and begins to follow me in your Bible. Because every word that verbalizes and actualizes out of my mouth, I will point it to you in the pages of Scripture. Now, now, Father God, we cover this life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, I want you to, you to understand tonight that we are fighting a spiritual warfare. Let me say that again. I want you to understand tonight that we are in a spiritual warfare. The first war that ever started was in heaven. The Bible said that there were wars and rumors of wars. Now, the, I want you to understand because Satan was kicked out of heaven. St. Saint, Saint Luke chapter 10 verse 18 and 19. But verse 18 says, St. Luke chapter 10 verse 18. 18 said that behold i saw satan like a lightning behold i saw satan like a lightning falling from heaven falling from heaven so i want you to understand that satan was kicked out of heaven mm -hmm. so i want you to note that this war that we are fighting is a serious war it's not no pure war not no small war from once you are a believer and you enter into christendom or enter or by baptized in the name of jesus christ right and following christ you automatically enter into a spiritual warfare uh-huh i said that from once you are called a child of god you are automatically whether you like it or not whether you want to worship God or not, whether you want to serve God or not, from once you enter into the presence of God, you automatically enter into war. Let me give you another definition. From once you are a child of God, from once you are a child of God, from once you are following Christ, there is a sign that mark upon you knowing as wanted which means that the host the host of hell is going to do everything in his power to kill you so i want you to get that straight first and foremost now 
Now let's get into the pages of scripture because we're going to go depths deep. Lord Jesus, if you're not ready for deep teaching, leave. If you don't ready to your knowledge to open up, leave the life. Because this message, this message is a serious, serious, serious message that I that the Lord has laid on my heart. I would not preach, but I will just teach. Because I'm not that's Mashi Kodobai. Now let me read this first. Get this other way. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 It said that finally my brethren Be strong in the Lord Finally my brethren My sisters be strong In the Lord My God And in the power of his might So God is encouraged Each one of us tonight To be strong Because he knows That it's not all the time the spirit of God travel with man. Genesis chapter 4. I think it's verse 2. Right? So God is encouraging us or empowering us that we need to be strong. Because the race is not for the swift but who can endure it to the end. Now let's continue in verse 11. The Lord said, put on. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God. It never says some. He never said peace. He said, put on the whole armor of God. Mm, that you may be able to what? To stand. To stand against the wilds. You see that, you see that word? W-I-L-E-S, wilds. That word means trickery, crafty, cunningness, cunningness. Right? Wilds mean how they practice. So the adversary come to trick you. With magic arcs and with shrines, with obia, with science, mm -hmm. with fortune tellers, with magician, with chandis. I want you to understand because I'm breaking now because I want you to understand. So you when you see wiles, wiles mean the cunningness, the trickery of Lucifer. Now it said that against wiles. Now verse 12 said, For we west for we wrestle. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood But against principalities You see he put the head Because principalities is the highest principality Or the highest demons Which means that demons of ranks Like our police force or our cops Are the army of ranks Different ranks Right, so principality is a demon. That's one. Against, against powers that are next set of demons. Right, against rulers of this darkness of this world. Against spiritual wicked. So the Lord is pointing out the different ranks of demons. No, no, I want it because I really want to touch this because the cults them are active now. And the church of God that's supposed to be a church are deactive, not active in the presence of God. They are running and make false prophets mm -hmm, come, come set up like a church to deceive God's people. No, I am setting out this because the word of God said that in Exodus chapter 22 verse 18. The Bible said that in Exodus chapter 22 verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So if the word of God said that suffer not a witch to live. Why are we playing pity party with devils? Because if you read from Genesis to Revelation... From Genesis to Revelation, there is no way you find from Genesis to Revelation that the adversary take the off, leave, vacation, maternity leave, or sick leave. You will never see that. Mm -hmm. You will never see that. 
Not only you will never see that, but you will never see from Genesis to Revelation. You will never see the you you will never see demons fighting against demons. But you will see Christian fighting against Christians. You will see why well, let me get a typical example. You will see Baptists fighting against seven days, seven days fighting against Pentecostal, Pentecostal fighting against uh, uh, yes, uh, Methodist, right? Methodists are fighting against Church of God because the devils realize that the greatest trick that he has to use are known as the wise or the trickery is to cause the church to fight against each other. Mm -hmm. So the adversary identify. By setting trickeries, uh -huh, our wives are traps for make the church fight against them, for make church fight against them own self. Now the cultists them are out there. I'm not afraid of no cult. The devil is a liar. Let me say this to you before I even go more deeper. A church can use olive oil, olive oil, olive oil. Olive oil or a bottle of water. A church not supposed to use nothing else apart from a bottle of water or olive oil. If they use coal salt, a devil that. If they use steak measure, a devil that. If they use garlic, because garlic was made to go for meat, a devil that. If they use our shoes to put over them door. Because our shoe was made to put on us. A devil that. If they use parchment paper. A devil that. And if them tell you. Figure by anything. A drugstore. A devil that. So I want you to get that straight. Uh huh. Now. The pages of scripture said. That. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14. The Bible said that. And no. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14 And no marvel for Satan For Satan For Satan himself 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14 And no marvel for Satan himself Transfer Transfer means Satan change off Camouflage with his wives like how you, you not see a green lizard? When the green lizard or a lizard touch on any surface, mm -hmm, it changes color. So Satan camouflage, transfer into an angel of light. So the only way Satan can deceive you, they have to look like a preacher and like a prophetess. Come in sheep clothes. Mm-hmm. Wolf in sheep clothes. So, no, the, even that scripture was marvel because the Bible said that Satan be careful of wolf in sheep clothes. Why the Bible did not say be careful of wolf in shepherd? Because wolf can't fool shepherd because shepherd know the voice of God. Let me say that again. The Bible said be careful of what? Wolf in sheep clothes. Mm hmm. But why the Bible did not say that be careful of wolf in shepherd clothes? Because wolf can't fool shepherd. Shepherd know God because shepherd have to spend time with God. Mm -hmm. But wolf have to disguise a sheep because sheep young. Sheep not understand the mystery and the power and the knowledge of God. They are growing from a sheep. Uh-huh. So shepherd is what listens to the voice of God. Uh-huh. Now, now, now Satan transfer into an angel of us. I want you to recognize that the only way Satan can deceive us, not me, Christians, is because he has to look like the real thing. Mm -hmm. Now, now, I want you to understand even in, in 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. It said that in those 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. In those cases, the God of this world, who is the God of this world? Satan. 
Because when he kicked out of heaven, he was falling to the ground. Because I'm, I wanted to bring you to the knowledge. Because if you don't know the knowledge and how Satan move, the cultists and the magician and the astrologers, them and the hobby man and the reader man and Madabad Pan, and you name it, the necromancy, the science, the hobby, you will get deceived if you don't know the word of God. Uh huh. Now, uh, that's why I said, be very careful. Now, it said that now in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. In those cases, the God of this world has blind. The God of this world has blind, not the eyes. This, this touched me. The God of this world, known as Satan, has blind the eyes. Not the eyes, no, the mind. And that struck me. I said, God, I thought it was eyes, not eyes, the mind. Blind the mind, right, of the unbelieving, right, so that they might not see the light. So the first thing that ever do is blind your mind, not your eyes, your, your, your mind. If he can blind your mind, you can't think like God anymore. Uh-huh. So he blind your mind, make you start think, make you start doubt God, make you start fear. Uh-huh. Mighty God. So he blind the mind, so he blind the mind, so you will not see the light of the gospel, of the glory of, of Christ, who is the image of God. So he blind the mind. Now, in, in, in Timothy, in 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 4, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Listen to this in 1 Timothy chapter 4. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. But the Spirit explicitly say that in the later times, some, some, not all, some, will fall away from the faith. Some will fall away from the gospel. Because they don't know the word of God. Now, in my church, or in the church that the Lord has given us, husband and wife, my wife and I, as the leader. You see, we stand on the word. We believe in the word. We believe in the Holy Ghost. Nashi Kodubahai. We believe in the Holy Ghost. We believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. Nothing else but Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So who are curious about our belief? We believe in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My King, my Savior is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. That's what we believe in. That's who we trust. Mm -hmm. You will never find certain necromancy in our church because we lick out that. Because we stand on the firm foundation. Because the Bible said that in St. Matthew chapter 16, right? Upon this rock, I build my church. It never said it build a social club. It never said a clubhouse, a gambling den, a cult church. It said upon this rock. And the rock means rock of ages that you can't move. Upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Now let's get back into the pages of scripture. Because who are curious what we do? We believe in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nothing else. Nothing more than Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever you see and live, that's what you will see in church. It doesn't change. Now, now, now the enemy. Now let's get back into First Timothy. First Timothy chapter four, verse one. But the Spirit explicitly said that in the latter times some will fall away from the faith. Pay attention. Pay attention to demons by means of hypocrisy and liars. Hypocrisy and liars. Mighty God. Mighty God. Now, and that's why in St. Matthew, St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. And Jesus answered and said to them, See it that no man mislead you. 
You can't go to church and you don't know. People will mislead you if you don't know the word of God. We don't tell person to turn off their phone. We say put it on silent or vibrate. No, she couldn't do We have nothing to hide. You see, you must know God for yourself. That's why in 1 John chapter 4 verse 1. In 1 John chapter 4 verse 1. The word of God said, you must test the spirit. To see if the spirit is of him. It's simple terminology. God is saying to test him. So if God, who is your master? Is telling you to test him. Who is me not to test me? Try the spirit. You say the spirit is of God. First John chapter 4 verse 1. Uh-huh. Because the Lord is saying that. Because you are serving him. There's a greater power that lies in you. First John chapter 4. I think it's verse 4. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So the greater power of God that is in you. Mm -hmm. Now let's continue into the pages of scripture because I really want to get these things out of the way. Now, now in 1 John chapter 5, verse 21, it's a little children, guard yourself from idols. Little children, guard yourself from idols. Guard yourself from idols. I'm getting there because a lot of scriptures. So get your pen. Get your piece of paper and get your Bible and begins to write. Uh huh. Now in Saint Matthew chapter 24, Saint Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. For false Christ, false prophet will arise and will show great signs. And will show great signs and wonder. So great signs and wonders so as to mislead, to mislead, to mislead, if possible, even the elect. So false prophet will rise up, will rise up, will what? Rise up. Now, now I realize that everybody love, up, some person love up your man. So let me get into it. There is a sorcerer that is in the Bible known as Bar Jesus. And it's taken from Acts, Acts chapter 4, sorry, Acts chapter 13. Acts chapter 13, because I'm going depths. Because if you know about the cultists or the hope you man them, then can't fool you if you have Jesus Christ. Because this is the knowledge. The Bible is the knowledge of God. The Bible is the, supposed to be the forefront. Because the Bible is the voice of God. The word of God is the voice of God. Now, let's continue. In Acts, Acts chapter 13, verse 6 Acts chapter 13 verse 6 and when they have gone through this of Patmos they found they found a certain sorcerer they found a certain sorcerer a false prophet or a false cultist or a false religion mm -hmm. right a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar Jesus. That's why you can't call in any Jesus. You have to call Jesus Christ. Because you have Bar Jesus in the Bible, which is a sorcerer. But there, there's only one Jesus Christ of Nazareth. One Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the Bible. Uh huh. Now, now, I want you to understand that in Acts, Acts chapter. 8 Acts chapter 8 verse 9 Acts chapter 8 verse 9 listen to this Acts chapter 8 verse 9 it said that there are follow, follow in your Bible follow in your Bible Acts chapter 8 verse 9 
Because the Lord wants me to teach it. That's why I'm explaining each verse as I go along. Because I want you to get the knowledge. Acts chapter 8, verse 9. Acts chapter 8, verse 9. There was a certain man. So I just deal with bar Jesus a while ago. Which is a sorcerer. Uh -huh. And sorcerer means person that cause spells. Raise dead. Uh huh. Put curse on people. Mm -hmm. Rise up the adversary to torment you. So a uh, a sorcerer is an agent of the devil, or an agent of Lucifer, or an agent of Satan. Now let's get back because every piece of verse in the Bible you're going to be shocked. Follow me. Acts chapter 8 verse 9. It says, There was a certain man called, called Simon, which before time, in the same city, you saw sorry. You saw sorry. Right? To, uh, to be witch. That's why you find a lot, a lot of person can't find jobs. You find a lot of person can't keep a relationship going. You find a lot of person um, every time they put two step forward, eh, a seven step backward, because there was witch known as a spelled over your life. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get back in the page of scripture in Acts chapter 8, verse 9. Bewitch the people of Samaria, giving out himself, was someone great. Verse 10 said. To whom they all give heed from the least. Let me explain that word, least. L-E-S, L-E-A-S-T, least. Just that word, least? That word, least, means, it's like, um, giving heed, heed means listening ears, or who got it. So that word, least, means, hairdresser, people who are less fortunate, such as, Hairdresser, barber, people who sell bag juice on the road, people who have stall, least meaning mean the lower class. That go obey man, that went to seek necromancy or science or witchcraft. Least from Simon the sorcerer. So I'll explain that. Now, now it said that to the least, to the greatest. You see that word greatest? G-R-E-A-T-E-S-T. -E -E greatest. Greatest means like doctors. Mm -hmm. Doctors, judge, nurse, police, soldier, artist. Mm -hmm. Mean that the higher profession or the higher society mm -hmm. or the richer class or the educated. That went to Simon, the Obiaman, the witchcraft, the sorcerer, you name it, the necromancer, mm -hmm, the warlocks. Get it? No, Alisa explained that. Same, because both of them are saying, saying, this man is of great power of God. So they're even mixing God in it to disguise their trickery, their wiles, their practice, their heart. The heart, a heart. Uh huh. Now I'm going to get to that. Now, to him they have what? Regard because they that long time had been witch. Some person will blame your eye for giving every one of your wealth, gain your gain. Mm hmm. And everybody, let me say this it's not good for a Christian love to love. Read up. Blood of Jesus. And many Christians love read up. Mm -hmm. And read up is not the answer. But if you know God, God will tell you what he wants to speak to you. Uh -huh. In a simple words, love person love prophecy. We tell him what's going on in their life. Now, let me say this publicly. We don't do no private tutoring. We don't do no home visit. Because we don't visit nobody. 
at all. If you want to know Christ, come to church and sit in a public setting. Because pastors are the false prophets, them are charged for service. Yeah? Home visit a charge for a service for do God's service. Jesus Christ the 21 miracles. 23 miracles, sorry. Raising the dead three times. Talk to the winds or the nature nine times. Mm. Speaking parables 39 times. And he has never collected a dollar. He has never collected a sense to do the works of God. I want you to get that. If you check all our lives. Our videos, you will never see no cash up. No, no. Cash up our pen pal, our bank account. The devil is a liar. Because people, that is a trickery. They are selling the gospel. And the gospel is not for sale. That's why the Lord said, freely I give. And freely you shall receive. Now let's get back into the scripture. Right? Verse 11 said that him to him that he has regard that because if bewitch them with sorcery. But when they believe Philip, the man of God, when they believe the man of God, but when they believe Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name, see Lord God, and the name of Christ, they were baptized both men and woman. Both men and woman. Now, there is a lot of stuff that we need to know. That's why Jeremiah chapter 7 said, Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 8 said, that, Behold, you are trusting in and deceitful words to no avail. You can't trust man's word. Check the Bible to see if you get an confirmation. Amen. Exodus chapter 8 verse 18 said The magician try With their Secret heart Bringing forth God and, But they Could not So there were God's let me, let, 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 let me say this We have to be very wise we have to be very wise. As Micah chapter 5 verse 12. Micah chapter 5 verse 12 said. I will cut off sorcery from your hands. And you will have fortune tellers no more. Saints of God. How your man has set up like church look like the real thing. How your woman. And Jezebel has set up church like the real thing. Who open your eyes? Who have eyes? Let them see. You can't get deceived by the adversary. Open your eye. Because them out there. Them out there. And let me say this to you. If we are prophesying to you. When we come off alive or come out of church, don't ask us no more questions where about your life. Because the Spirit of God left we. A flesh come back in now. And nobody is not going to allow us to profit lie or tell lie. The devil is a liar from the pit of hell. Now let's get back in the pages of scripture. Now we understand. Mighty God. Now in Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 11 Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 11 Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 11 It said Our one who Cause it a spell A spell Someone wanna walk with some spell that needs to be broken That's why someone wanna can't stop drink Can't stop humanize mm -hmm. Can't stop cheat can't stop tell lie. Mm hmm See how the Jezebel spirit still on you because it's a spell is upon you. Mm hmm Now it said that cause a spell, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 11. Are a minimum of spiritists are one who call up the dead. So a spiritist is somebody who summon the dead through radio, 
fi swell your hand, fi swell your foot, fi give your big head. A spirit is, is what summon demons from hell. Summon the dead fi torment you. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 11. Read it. It's there. Baby call it in the Bible. Now, now, I want you to understand that a lot of people need to know. And don't be fooled and don't be tricked. Because you have people who make sacrifice to devils. You have people who not only summon the dead, but you have people who make blood sacrifice to devils or drink blood, animal blood. And they are not these days not drinking animal blood, but they are cutting off humans or the young children them that are going missing. Mm hmm Mm, for what? For sacrificial. Human sacrificial. To kill you, to wipe you out. Mm -hmm. We call them secret agent, large order, Freemason, wizard, witches, warlocks, agents of the adversary. Now look at this. I'm going to prove it in the pages of scripture that people make sacrifice to devils. Look, in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 32, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 17, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 17, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 17, their sacrifice unto devil, their Sacrifice dead and to devils. I hope that you see that. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 17. They make sacrifice unto devils, not to God. To God who they knew not. For God whom they knew not. Mighty God. So they don't even know Jesus. So they're making sacrifice to devils to get wealth, to get riches. Mm -hmm. And when I mean sacrifice, some families also use their daughters and sons as sacrificial offering to the devils. That's where you find something you, your niece and nephew can't sleep at night because their mother or their grandmother make sacrifice to devils. So devils start riding morning, noon and night, evening, morning, hop down, they torment because they make sacrifice to devils to ride their children, to ride your picnic. Sometimes your child may say that I'm seeing demons and you not see it. Because it is a blood sacrificial or a spell that cause their eyes, their minds not to see, but you not see, but spirits are riding them. Sometimes even sexual demons as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some of these persons are candle lighters. Then light candle, mud, they write red candle, blue candle, pink candle. You name it. To ride your children. People are wicked out there. Open your eyes. Brothers and sisters. I said before, I wanted to teach tonight because I want you to get these scriptures. Because if I preach, you won't get them. So I'm taking my time for you to know. And this is a part that is a main ingredient to know who want to know the word of God and who don't want to know. Because if you don't want to know the word of God, you will leave. But if you want to know about the Bible, you will stay and learn about the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's why in Ephesians chapter 5, it said that you are no more children tossing two and four. Mm -hmm. The Bible, let me read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse 17. They make sacrifice unto devils, not to God. The gods whom they knew not. The new gods, the new gods, the new, new, the new gods, the S and the N, that they came newly up 
some uprising demons, some uprising idols, some new gods. Uh huh. Not Jesus Christ. Right up, whom your father fear not. So they make blood sacrifice. As I said before, something you see a child missing. Mm -hmm. They capture that child to make blood sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And some of these are argon, argons, don't argons, which means that they kill your child, make the sacrifice, and sell the argons that is in your body. Which means your lungs, your kidney, uh, you name it, anything that can sell. Because a billion dollar uh, 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 business, demonic business. Mm -hmm. Let me explain it to you. And some of them, you call them secret society. Secretive. And when they go in the dark room, they lock the door. I said that this teaching is deep. If you want to know about spiritual and cults, listen. Because you will learn something tonight. Right? So they make sacrifice to devils. And let me say this to you. The word, and let me say, some mother wicked, some father wicked, some grandmother wicked. They will cause them, them sons and daughters to in witchcraft. Let me prove it in the pages of scripture. Follow me in your Bible. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 18. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 10. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 10. It says, There shall not be found... There shall, Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 10, there shall not be found among you anyone that make his sons, make his son and his daughter to pass through the fire. Mm -hmm. Or that use divination. Or observe times. No. Times, 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 times. Observe times. Observe times. They look through the crystal ball. They look through the black magic mirror. To watch, to see you. That's why sometimes you feel like somebody I watch you. I'm teaching you something. Mm -hmm. Let's continue in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10. Right? Observe time. Our enchantment. Enchantment, it is not wise. We just see so because when I know them, they march round, them sacrifice, the blood sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they march on them blood sacrifice to summon demons. So them chant in the spirit to summon principality to come ride you, to ride your family, to, to mash up people business, to mash up marriages, mm -hmm. to mash up family. Mm -hmm. To wreck your life or wreck your children's life, wreck your grandmother's life. Enchantment. Chanting spirit up. Right? Using parchment paper mm -hmm. to beat graves. Or uh, beat graves. Uh huh. To wake up, to summon, dead, summon the dead. That's why, that's why I said, uh, why you seek the dead amongst the living? I'm teaching you something tonight. Mm hmm. Now, it said that in verse 11 said that in Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 11 are a chanter are a chanter are a what consulter right with familiar spirit with familiar spirit which means that the spirit that is familiar after know where you go when you eat which means that they familiarize with the surrounding so the evil spirit that they send after what to familiarize with your surrounding. That's why it's good to change up your house. Change up your room. Change up your bathroom. Turn the bed a different way, man. Don't wait until when somebody dead. The devil is a liar. Because spirit comes to what to map out your house. To know how it's set up. How it locate. Where you put by your bed. What you put by so change up your house, change up your room, change up your bedroom, change up your kitchen. Because you have agents of the adversary that send uh -huh, to watch out your property. Someone else wants change up. Let me go. Let me go. And let me let, let me say this. Someone who cause enough demons for riding or not. Because when you make blood sacrifice, cut off pigeon head. 
and fall head and throw at the foundation and sum up demons. And that's why someone who can't sleep, sleep will sleep well. You could have caused some pastor stuff and no to the chuku. That demon now move. Because you make demons not the foundation when you are Billy. That's why your hours are sick. And you feel faintish. And you feel like your breath left your body. Someone rent house too. Some of you rent house that are what? Owned by devils. By agent of the adversary. Just the plain truth. Let's get back into the pages of scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 11. Are the enchanters, are the consultors, are familiar spirit. Familiar spirits mean more than one. Are wizard, wizard which mean that is a, the opposite of witch, which is a male. Right? Um, are, are necromancy, so who never knows a necromancy in the Bible you can see it now. Are necromancer. Necromancer means sorcery, powder, I'll fi hold him, I'll fi keep him, I'll fi make business grow, I'll fi tie him up, I'll fi mad him, I'll fi sick her, oh, gee, I'll fi pluck out her here. Yes, necromancies. I'm explaining them. Lord God Almighty, thank you, Jesus Christ, for the knowledge. Right? Verse 12 said that in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 12. For all that these things are abomination unto the Lord, because of the abomination of the Lord, thy God, that drive them out from thee. Let me say this to you. There is power in the name of Jesus. No demon can hurt you. I'm going to prove something to you again. That you have to be very wise and be very careful who you enter into your home. And who invite you to come out their home. It's not wise to let your sweat. Your sweat. Dep on any and anybody's sheet. Or bed. Or the pillows. Uh-huh. That's why people take up people's clothes. Mm-hmm. It's not only the thing that they wear underneath. Or the underwear garments. Mm, anything that you have your sweat in. Mm, they will mash you up. They will seek you. They will, they, will, they, will, they, will, they, will, they will make you see lizards. Your sweat, you have to be very wise. I'm teaching you something. I want to, I'm educating you tonight. Your sweat, please. Be careful which yard you sleep. Pump people pillow. And people are putting necromancies and science in a them bathroom. Because through them know a woman love run going to the bathroom to use. Some of them even put it on the tissues. I'm teaching you. Ladies, I'm I love ladies, I want to educate you. Some of them put it on them tissues. Some of them get black magic mirrors. Mirrors. Mm-hmm. That is a gateway to hell. You are seeing yourself. But that mirror is a demonic mirror. If you turn your spirit and your body back with you. If you mad you and you sick you. Never leave your comb that you comb you here with here tonight. They will kill you. They will take it and mad you. I'm teaching you something tonight. I hope that you learned. I can't help you more than give you the word. Now let's get back in the pages of scripture. In Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 13. I'm going to show you something now. Why am I saying this? In Ezekiel chapter 13. I'm talking about necromancy, hobby, witchcraft. You name Ocus, Pocus, you name it. Mm -hmm. Me are teaching about it tonight. We mash up some demons on your own. So you don't have to call a pastor read. No prophetess anarchy. You can do it on your own. So I'm teaching you the word. Now look at the sisters and brothers. In Ezekiel, I may know some of them monetary demons, them. Who oh, I watch this life too, come I know someone I try and monitor me. I monitor we live. We know, we spot on, we know, we recognize on. I know. That's why we don't tell people when we're coming on from where we're not coming on. We just move by the Holy Ghost. 
You can't study us. Mm. Some of them make demons study on a location too much. When you go, what time you eat, or you eat, mm -hmm. what time you come home, you have to change up your, Lord God, change up your time setting. You can't make demons study every moves that you make. And that's why you find yourself in a predicament time move because demons study your time movement. Mm -hmm. What time you eat? What time you sleep? What time you use bathroom? Because you know, make demons monitor you know, like a puppet and a string. Let get, let's get back because I'm teaching you something. Because Ezekiel chapter 13. Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 18. Listen to this, Keely. And I'm going to explain this scripture here. Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 18. And say, thus said the Lord God. Woe unto the woman that saw it pillows. That saw it pillows. Do you know that people make stuffed animals and use something that have your sweat and do the enchantment and if you don't know jesus christ dog name your supper uh -huh. and you spin something you feel you and you spin and juke this tough animal that's tough up like like teddy bear mm -hmm. and everywhere they juke you feel it ouch i i with a nigger mm -hmm. this tough animal that entire you know, something with that having a sweat or something that is personal to you. To mad you, to seek you, to confuse you. That's why many times you feel all your foot are sticking and you wonder what happened. Nick, these tough animals. They use. So when they break the dolly foot, or break the stuff than the stuffed animal mm, that look like you, like a human perform, your hand broke too. Mm-hmm. And then turn the stuffed animal back way and turn your head, the spirit inside of your back way. So you're walking every day like a zombie. Mind bad, the, the body is here, but your mind is there. I'm teaching you something tonight. Mm -hmm. Now get back in the pages of scripture. And thus, Ezekiel, write down this one, please. I'm asking you, write down this one. This one is very important. Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 18 and they said thus said the Lord thy God woe unto the women which mean more than one women woe unto the woman who man them woe unto the woman who man them let me explain it I want you to understand right now woe unto the woman that them that saw pillars to all the armholes right and make kerchiefs that's why Anna, any, anybody can give me one kerchief. I don't care. Christmas will come now. And everybody will look for gift. And every good and every gift a good gift. Some of them come from your mother, your father, your sister, your cousin, your uncle. And every good tell them say you don't want it. You will live longer. Cause sometimes them have them eyes on your property. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or the will. So they set up gifts that are seasoned with witchcraft to mad you to get your stuff. And sometimes not a matter of getting your stuff, you know, it's just because sometimes people love you more than them. Or the family prefer you more than them. So they have to get rid of you. So stuff and so, so they saw pillows. Pillows. That's why pillows, pillows, that's what I'm saying, and everywhere you must lay your head for one pillow. Because when you get up in that morning and you left your relative, your, your relative house or your Judas friend house, you don't know what that friend is going to do with your sweat that you leave behind. And their pillows and their sheet. I'm warning your sisters and brothers. And they saw, let me, and they saw in. Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 18 I am still at right they saw pillows and the armholes and make kerchiefs a kerchief upon the head of every statue you see that 
Every what? Status. Statues. False gods. Idols. Right? To what? To haunt your soul. See there? It's straight it, 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 it's in the Bible. To haunt your soul. So sometimes you are anointing. And not because you are anointed, you cannot be naive. Let me say it again. Not because you are a prophet or a prophetess or you're a preacher and you are anointed. The anointing will let you. Because you've been trapped by the adversary. Mm. Because the adversary set up pillars. Pillars. Anything that's tough. And kerchiefs. Kerchief doesn't mean a kerchief only. It can be a rug. It can be a sheet. That you're sweating on. Mm, your clothes where you have on. To haunt your soul. Many demons out there are agents of the, of the adversary. Are monitoring demons. One, the anointing where you have. So they have to suppress it. To gain ranks in the demonic kingdom. I'm teaching you this. And many persons, many pastors will never teach you this. Because they don't even know. Uh huh. Now. No, 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 no. Look at it now. Right? In verse 18, see, in Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 18. Right? To make kerchiefs unto the head of statues and to hunt souls. Will he hunt the souls of my people? God asks my question. Will you hunt and hunt the soul of the Christians then? Uh-huh. Right? And will he save the souls alive? Or will he save so the up your man them or the your hub your family them? Uh-huh. Chop your soul. Mm hmm That's why your son are mad. Your bright bright son turned down. I'm teaching you this. Your bright bright son or your daughter with a single university mad out like whoa. Because of cultists. Our magician, our chandis, our soothsayers that mash up your life. Let me say this if we don't hope in our eyes in this time, dog, name our suppers. We have to hope in our eyes in these times because the adversary love walk at night and someone will drop asleep too quick and I want pray. And if you are warriors of Christ, you have to learn how to pray. Morning, noon, and night. Look at it now. It said to unsold. The Bible said that they saved to unsold. Lord, look what the Lord said now. In the same Ezekiel. So Ezekiel chapter 13. I'll just read verse 18. Now let's go down in the scripture at verse 21. Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 21. Now look at this. Your kerchiefs. Same kerchiefs what I was talking to you about. Uh huh. Your kerchiefs also will I tear. Your kerchief will I, the Lord said, will I also what? Tear. Tear. You see, this is tear. You see it? I'm tearing it. Tear. So the Lord said, Your kerchief which I what? I tear. You get it now? Because I'm using illustration here. Right? Will I tear? Right? Also will I tear and deliver my people, my righteous people, my disciples, my Christians. Remember that. My followers of Christ. I am I'm, I'm explaining it as simple. Right? Out of the hands. Out of the hands. You see that again? Out of the hands. Of the, the sorcerer, the obium and the witchcraft, the warlocks, the agents. The secret society. Mm, the, the, out of the cultists. The soothsayers. The tradition. The chandis. Uh -huh, the magician. The fortune tellers. Out of the hands of them. God is telling me. It's going to tear. What? What? And deliver. His people. Out of the hands. And that is taken from Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 21. And. And they shall be no more in the hands to be hunted they, and he shall know that I am the Lord plain 
There's no if now, but now, maybe. I'm teaching about witchcraft here. Mm, as I said before, the Bible said we're not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities and rulers of darkness. We are in a spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare we're into. Do you know that? Let me show you something. Do you know that even the adversary looking for signs? Let me prove it in the pages of scripture to show you that the devil look for signs. Look at this. Turn your Bible to St. Matthew chapter 16. St. Matthew chapter 16. St. Matthew chapter 16, verse 3. In the morning, St. Matthew chapter 16, verse 3. In the morning, it will be fully weather, fully weather today. For the sky is red, and lower he hypocrites. So even a wicked person, they look for signs. The Lord said, look up when you see the signs. Redemption, joy, near. Even the astrologers as them. The, the, the witches, they're looking for signs. Let me continue, because this is the wicked hypocrites that me are read about now. St. Matthew chapter 16, verse 3. Right? For in the sky is red, and lowering, he hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the times. My God. Let me read it again. Even the hypocrites, them, I look for signs. Even the parasites, them, I look for signs. Look at it. Let me read it again. In St. Matthew chapter 16. St. Matthew chapter 16. Verse 3. Right? In the morning it will be fully weather today. For the sky is red. And lowering. Oh ye hypocrites. Oh ye hypocrites. You can discern. The face of the sky. But. The face of the sky. But. It's about B-O-T. But. But you can. But he cannot. You cannot. Hypocrites. You cannot discern the signs of these times. You can't discern the times of Christ. My Lord will come into a twinkling of an eye. When you least expect it. Mashi Kodobai. You can't tell when my God will come. And when Jesus Christ will show his appearance. You can't study me God. You can't program me, God. Because Jesus Christ is what we live for and what we'll die for. And that's what we, we will always be in his presence. That's why it's that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord is my light and my salvation. From whom shall we be afraid? When you stand with God, Lord God, he will show you signs and wonders and miracles. As the time is wrapping up, some of you may be saying in your heart, in your mind, that for my child, Lord God, for me, yeah, they will need me. Yes, I gotta come. God will show up whether you like it or not. God will come. Let me get back in the pages of scripture. Come back here a little bit. Let's get back into Saint Matthew chapter 16, verse 4. Saint Matthew chapter 16, verse 4. I'm at now. The wicked and the adulterers, generation seeking, seeking mean they're looking, seek it. Let me again say Matthew chapter 16, verse 4. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after signs. Uh huh. Seeking after signs, and there shall no sign, no sign be given unto it. No sign will be given unto it, but the signs of the prophet Jonah. So the adversary is looking for signs as well. Yeah, that's why this man of God don't believe in you no know, signs, boy. Yeah. Scorpion and you are this and you are that and you are there is a liar. Ocus pocus. Mm hmm. Ariscope. Yes, you're looking for Ariscope and you're born and eat this a sign. Yeah. The devil is a liar. If I this same man born, I this same man born. If I July, I'm born, I July, I'm born. I no not need no sign. No hocus pocus here. No ariscope here. And some of you are using this and cursing on the life and you don't even know. 
They don't even know. Mm. So everybody is looking for sign. Even the and even the uh, even the wicked and the even the wicked and the hypocrites them I look for sign. Right? Now let me show you something now. The righteous one now is looking for signs as well. But you must know the right sign from the from the wrong sign. Now it said that in Saint Mark, Saint Mark chapter 16. Saint Mark chapter 16. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. Saint Mark chapter 16, verse 17. And these are the signs. Follow, follow them that believe. In my name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth name, follow the sign in Jesus. My God, that's the, there is no plain apart or plain instruction. He never does a follow, just so you know, it's a follow, follow them in that believe in my name. In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. So when you have the Holy Ghost, it moves with you. It moves with you. So I want you to understand that. Now, now, demons know who I live for God. Demons know who I live for God. And demons also know Jesus' name. Let me prove it in the pages of scripture. Right? In Acts. Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19. There was a city known as Ephesus. Ephesus, the city of witchcraft. The city of science, the city of necromancy, the city of obia, the city of black magic, the city of shrines, the city of hearts, magic hearts. Ephesus, the city of witchcraft was the harder of the deal. Look at it now in Acts chapter 19. Now Look on it in verse 13, Acts chapter 19, verse 13. There was a certain of vagabonds. The Bible said that what? Acts chapter 19, verse 30. There was there was there then certain of vagabonds, Jews, mm, exorcism, right? Took up them. To call over them which had evil spirits. The name of the Lord Jesus. That's why we baptize people in Jesus' name. Because there's power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And nobody will tell us to baptize in the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Those are tigers. Jesus' name. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me get back. Let me get back to the... Now, look at verse 15. Acts chapter 19, verse 15. I'm going to show you that demons know Jesus. I'm going to show you that demons know who I live for God. Follow me in the Bible. Acts chapter 19, mm -hmm. verse 15. And the evil spirit answer. Lord God, evil spirit that can talk. Evil spirit can what? Talk. He talk back to you. If you don't know what, oh, if you don't know Jesus, he will talk back to you. Look at it. Verse 15, Acts chapter 19, verse 15. The evil spirit answered and said, Jesus. Jesus. It never says son. It not even says Holy Ghost. Mm, it not even say father. It said Jesus. Look if you think I'm lying. Acts chapter 19 verse 15. Mm -hmm. The evil spirit answered and said Jesus. I know. My God. 
Jesus, I know. So the evil spirit recognized that Jesus, he know Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus, I know, and Paul, I know, because Paul is a righteous man. Paul, the apostle, write 13 books of the Bible. 13 books that we read in the New Testament. So, the devil know Jesus Christ, and the devil know Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ in a Paul the Apostle. So the devil know me because me walking with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The devil know mm, mm, prophetess Anna K. Reed. Why? Because the Jesus Christ is inside of her. Mm, first Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 6. Mm -hmm. Sorry, first Corinthians chapter, chapter, chapter first Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Yes, our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Remember, remember that. Right? But something after living the temple. First John chapter 4, verse 4. Right? Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So the greater power, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is in me. Lodge in me, inside of me. So if Jesus Christ inside of me with the fruit of the Spirit, no demons can enter in me. No demon can eat now walk with me. And some of you demons attack with you, no? Not only attack with you, no? Demons are make love with you, no? Not only are make love with you, no? But demons also are heat with you, no? And let me say this to you. Demons can transfer from one person to the next. Demons come through various different types of doors. Let me give you a typical example. If you are not spiritually anointing, if you are not spiritually up to standard, stop watch deliverance. Because demons will jump out of that person where you watch on TV. And jump in a yo. Enough of you never know that. Spirit transfer. Let me say it again. If you're not spiritually anointing or strong discernment or having a great relationship with God, stop what Doppy show. Go show. Let me tell you again. If you're not spiritually anointing, mm, stop what certain deliverance because spirit know if you live or if you not live. And if you are fornicate and commit adultery or if the government lie or tell lies, demons know. He recognize Jesus Christ and he recognize the man of God, Paul the Apostle. But look what the demons does to those persons who and let me say this, if you're not anointing, and it's not every preacher anointing to cast out demons, let me say this again. Just as though you have various different types of doctors, mm -hmm. you can't go to a gynecologist as a male. Because gynecologist was made only for females and a certain, to do certain things. You understand what I'm saying? Because gynecologists practice to do certain works on a certain females. Not males. But doctors, doctors mm, can work on the... And your brain doctors or brain surgeons is different from the one that work on the heart. What am I saying? You have different preachers for different things. You have, it's not every preacher is equipped to cast out demons. It's not every preacher is our preachers, our prophetess that calls in deliverance. Demons will turn you over if you're not fully spiritually anointed. Demons will mad you if you're not anointed. Let me say it again. Many times, if you're even a spiritual, that's why when you are an, a deliverance minister, you can't marry to any and anybody. When God call you in the deliverance ministry, whether you are women, woman, or man, you cannot marry to any and anybody. It is good for a deliverance minister mm -hmm, to marry somebody that is in the same 
deliverance feel like them. Why am I saying that? Because if you are a deliverance minister, the devil is, as a female, the devil is going to use your husband to come at you. If you are a deliverance pastor, as a male, and your wife is not, is going to use your wife to come at you. I warn you. I'm giving you insight. I'm giving you knowledge. So a deliverance person, it is best for you to marry someone that have the same anointing, the same calling. Because everybody calling different. Different. So when you're a minister of the gospel, because you need to understand that when person married you, they married also to your destiny. Mm -hmm. I married to my wife because my wife understand me and me understand my wife. Let me get a typical example. When my wife have to go on the ministry field, I have to understand. How many husbands understand that? How many wives understand that? That's why we work on one accord. Mm -hmm. And the devil cannot infiltrate or come into the makers. Because we smell him, we recognize him from and far, and we hear it. Mm -hmm. Now let's get back in the scripture here. And in, in in Acts chapter 19, right? Acts chapter 19, verse, it said, I was read verse 16, no? Acts chapter 19, verse 16. Acts chapter 19, verse, what? 6, 6 16. Because people say, said they can't transfer and they never know who I live. Let, read this. Acts chapter 19, verse 16. The man of in whom the evil spirit the man the man in whom the evil spirit was was inside of the bible said what it leaped and them the evil spirit jump out of them jump out of the one and jump on them transfer right leap leap and them and over and overcame them and prevail against them so that they flee out of their house naked so the so demons make man run out of their house naked as the damn barn so what else evil spirit can manifest or can transfer it can and any portal that you open you have to close it any portal, portal mean doors, any doors of the adversary that you're hoping, close it. Right? Remember, you know, one man carrying 10,000 demons known as Legion. So, the man who you are look you are interested in you, can carry demons. Yep. One man can carry 10,000 demons or more demons. Mm -hmm. And the hardest demons to get rid of are really just demons other people, yeah? The hardest demons to get rid of is out of a child or out of a teenager. Let me explain that to you. So I'm giving you spiritual insight that not even your pastor know for teaching this area. Because this is a depth teaching. So I want you to understand. Now, now look in the same passage. The same passage, Right? In Acts chapter 19, Acts chapter 19, verse 18. I'm skipping a little bit here. Right? Acts chapter 19, verse 18. And many that believe came and confessed and showed their deeds. Verse 19 said, Acts chapter 19, verse 19. Many of them also use curious arts. You hear? Curious hearts. Magic. Spells. Sorcery. Powder, hail, mm -hmm. black kangaroo, red kangaroo, blue kangaroo, mm -hmm. bust them coconut, dash with them rice. Yes, magic arcs. Read my reading so you can understand it. Right? Acts chapter 19, verse 19. I'm continuing. Brought their what? Their books together. Their black magic book. Their black magic book. Right? Together. And burn them before all men 
they count the price of them and found 50,000 pieces of what silver? So then that's where the magic arc can burn him. Because Paul stepped in, the man of God stepped in, the woman of God got stepped in. You understand what I'm saying? Now let me use, look at verse 24 now. Look at verse 24. Right? For a certain man named Didymus, a silver shrine, which makes silver shrines. One look at thing when them make with falls, with fall and all and all of them chant. In the hand. You see person that are in in the India culture. India in uh, Indians or Indians or whatever. Culture, you, you see them with look of feather and, and you use them shine and they mark and then go around you and then whatever. Shrines. They look a spell stick. To touch you. That's why every hobby man always have a look stick in their hand. Check it. Every witchcraft hobby or any person that read up people they always have a, have a look stick. Mm hmm. And they cut again for body have a look stick. A shrine. Shrine they call it. You understand? So I want you to get it. Right? The magic shrine for Diana. Diana is an idol. It's a statue that brought forth no small gain. And, um, and to our, a, a craftsman. No, no, no. I'm giving you the scriptures them because I want you to get them. I want you to get them. No, 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 no. The thing is, it now in in Malachi, in Micah, Micah chapter ten, Micah, Micah chapter five, verse ten to fifteen, right? Witchcraft in the city with idols. So you can read that as well, right? And Isaiah forty-seven, verse twelve. Isaiah forty-seven, verse twelve, right? Laboring in sorcery from them a youth to be able to puff. Lord God. Do you know that person labor in a witchcraft from them a baby? Them follow them mother, them father, them grandfather footstep. From them a youth. From them a what? Youth. Uh huh. And some of them have been wearing God ring, God chain, God nose ring, God ear ring. God erring, God, I want, I'm telling you this. Eh, uh -huh. right? God don't listen to. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you this because I want you to know. People are, many people are, you see them as flesh, but them have demons that walk in them. Uh huh. Now, these are protection. And some of them have some person I walk with in dead mother clothes. Then great great grandmother eminence or or bangers or you name it any dead left say your dead family can protect you the devil is a liar the devil is a liar you're only making things bad for yourself dash wait any dead left dash it wait the dead left where your mother wear or your grandmother wear throw it away you're going to cause more demons to attach to that. Nobody who dead can protect you. Let me say it again. Nobody who dead cannot protect you. Right? Because when a man die, his body go to the dust and his spirit go back to God. So another person, so it's not that person anymore. <coughs> Sorry. Let me try find a scripture because I don't want anybody to say, man of God, you, 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 you are reading something. I said that when a man dead, his body go back to the dust and his spirit go back to God. Where is that particular scripture? Because I want to prove it in the pages of scripture so you can get it. Mm -hmm. Right? I said when a man die or when a woman dead, right? His spirit, his body, known as the flesh, the carcass, go back to the dust, to the ground. But his spirit go back to God. Let me let, 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 let me prove it in the pages of scripture here. Eculastes, Eculastes chapter 12. Eculastes chapter 12, verse 7. Eculastes chapter 12, verse 7. Because many persons are curious where your soul goes, where your, 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 your spirit go, Right? Your spirit go back to God. And when they have judgment, then that's where 
is going to summon wherever you, you die. That's where your spirit will come back. Now, EQ last chapter 12, verse 7. Then the dust, then shall the dust return to the earth. Do you see that? EQ last is chapter 12, verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. And the spirit, you see it, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. So, who you think I protect you and I protect and I, and I God? And I your mother, and I your father, and the devil that. It's only Jesus Christ of Nazareth that can protect you. Mm. Mm. Angel that assigned to you move by its voice. That they give angel charge over your life. I'm teaching you this because I want you to know. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. This is a deep revelation. And it's sometimes never a matter of the jump up. But God wants you to know these words of God. Mighty God. Now, now, in Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19 to 21. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19 to 21. People who seek familiar spirit, wizard, to see dead amongst the living. Remember what teacher that? Right? Isaiah chapter 8. Verse 19 to 21. People who seek. Familiar spirits. Right? Familiar spirit and wizard. Right? Right? Seeking the dead among the living. Which means that the. The wizard and the familiar spirit. They chant. And I use the necromancy to summon dead to eat with her, to talk with her, to reason with her, as I was telling you before. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand the concept of how this evil spirit works. That's why we have to be in the spirit of God. Jesus is the answer, brothers and sisters. Not the island, not the powder. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the answer. When you spend your money to spend hundred and thousand dollars and two hundred thousand dollars and twenty thousand dollars and two hundred US dollars and hundred Canadian dollars and you name it and hundred pound to seek for protection, it will never work. It is only the blood of Jesus Christ. Because when I see the blood, I shall pass over. There is life in the blood. The Lord purged the church with his blood. For he was wounded for your transgression, bruised for your iniquity. The chastisement of his peace was upon him, but by his stripes you are healed. Jesus Christ is the greatest protection you can have. So, I want you to understand that. That no man, no woman can allow anything to stop you. Now, as I was saying to you before. A lot of persons out there. Micah chapter 5. Micah chapter 5 verse 10 to 12. Micah chapter 5 verse 10 to 12. It said, And it shall come to pass in the day, saith the Lord, that I will cut off thy horsemen out of the midst of thee. I will destroy the chariots. And I will cut off the city of thy land and throw down all thy stronghold. And I will cut off the witch. And I will cut off. Mm -hmm. I will cut off the witchcraft. Out of the out of thy hands. And thou shalt have no more soothsayers. Mm -hmm. Micah chapter 5 verse, verse 10 to 12. Uh -huh. First Chronicles. First Chronicles chapter 10 to 13. First Chronicles. Chapter 10, verse 13. So, so Saul died for his transgression, which he had committed against the Lord, even against the word of, of the Lord, which he kept not, also for asking counsel of one that a familiar spirit to inquire of it. Stop, seek, Physicians, Mashu Kodobai, known as the Sasara. 
How be a man? Enquire information to mash up people's life. To mash up your life. See Jesus Christ of Nazareth. See Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, in 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 6. 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 6. And he caused his sons. Sorry, and he caused his children. 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 6. And he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley, the son of Heman. Also, he also observed time, right? And used enchantment, using witchcraft, dealt with familiar spirit, with wizard. He brought much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to hunger. When you do witchcraft, you provoke God to hunger. I said that when you do witchcraft, you're provoke, provoking God to anger. Right? In Leviticus chapter 19. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. Regard not them that have familiar spirit, neither seek after wizards to, what, to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 27. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 27 A man also or, or a woman that had familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to, uh, to death. They shall stone them with what? A stone. Their blood shall be upon them. Revelation chapter 18 verse 23 And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee and the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee for thy merchant where the great men and the hurt for by the sorceries we are all nation deceived revelation chapter 21 verse 8 put the fearful and unbelieve and the abominatable and murderers and omongers and sorceries and idolatries and all shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death Deuteronomy oh my gosh I'm getting there I'm getting there Jeremiah chapter 27 Jeremiah chapter 27 verse 9 but as far you do not listen to your prophets, your diviner, your dreamers, your soothsayers, your sorcerers, who speak to you, saying, You will not serve the king of Babylon. Mighty God. Second King chapter 21, verse 6. He made his sons to pass through the fire, practicing practicing witchcraft and use divination and dealt with medium and spirits he did much evil in the sight of the lord provoking him to hunger i hope and i trust that whatever i have speak or prophesy or teach it's been a blessing to you be careful of false prophets be careful of cults be careful of rituals god has called you for such a time as this as i said before the devil don't like when you pray the devil don't like when you know the word of god because the word of god is truth mm -hmm. the word of god bring clarity the word of god bring deliverance the word of God brings setting free from evil power. No evil can touch a true believer because we will walk in God. Stay in the presence of God. Stay with God. He knows your name. I cover you now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No weapon that form against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against you shall be condemned. I hope and I trust that my teaching enlighten your mind so you can know about the word of God. This is your host, Apostle Reader. Tuning out. I cover you now. No Jezebel, no backlash, no setback, no scars shall hurt you. No arrow, no dart, no fiery night, no pitch me shall destroy your plans, shall destroy your dreams. God is speaking to you. Know him for yourself. The aisle, the powder, the kangaroo, the crystal ball, the magic mirror, the protections will not work, will never work. The one way you get from foreign, from overseas, say it's going to make your business grow. It will never work. It will work for a time. And I want to say this. Let me find this one scripture. Before I left. And it's taken in Revelation. Do you know that the devils do miracles as well? The devil do miracles as well. Because when God kicked out Lucifer or Satan out of heaven, he don't take away in power. That's why you can go to and fro in a job time and talk to God and kick him out. What God does is equip us with the power to fight against the adversary. Let me read this last scripture before I exit out of my teaching. Revelation chapter 16. Revelation chapter 16. I'm going to show you that the devil is kind of miracles as well. Ah. Uh -huh. Revelation chapter 16 verse 14. For they are spirits of the devils. Do you see that? Revelation chapter 16 verse 14. Revelation chapter 16 verse 14. For they are the spirits of the devil working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to battles of great day of God Almighty. Let me read it again. The devil do miracles. Don't take him light. But you have to study the word and pray to God that God can give you an insight. Revelation chapter 16 verse 14. For they are the spirits of the devil working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them with battles of, a, of the great day of God. Saints of God, you have synagogues of the devils. I said last scripture, but I mean, every time I want to go, one more scripture still pops up. Because when you know the word of God, nobody can fool you. Let me read this total last one before I totally exit. Totally exit. Because I'm going to show you that you have churches known as the synagogues of the devil. Find in the Bible. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. I know the works of the tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich. I know the blaspheme of them. Which, which say... They are Jews. They are not, but, sorry, but of Jews and are not, but they are the synagogues of Satan. They are the church of Satan. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I hope and trust that my message, my teaching enlighten you. Didn't feel to preach. Didn't feel to prophesy. Didn't feel to go over the limit the spirit of God is leaving me now because he has said and declared in the teaching that he wants you to know tonight take time listen I, I'm encouraging you brothers and sisters write down each scripture study them for yourself the Bible says study thyself to show thyself approved 
Mm. When you study, nobody can fool you. When you study, nobody can fool you. As my wife always said that, because I know the word, and the word inside, inside of me, if I don't exit, I will go on one night teaching about the entire Bible. Stay with God, saints of God. This is an old, old apostle reader. And I cover you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you. The only thing that we desire of you is to pray for us. If you mean well for us, pray for us. Keep us in your prayer that we can keep on on the firing line declaring the word of God. God bless you. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. And as I always say that, we are a Pentecostal bunch. Our church is a Pentecostal. No if, no but, no maybe. Our church is a Pentecostal. Many of you are pure, curious about the name. Let me enlighten you about the name before I totally leave. Our church name is Christian Morning Glory Pentecostal. Christian Morning Glory Pentecostal mean fire, mean deliverance, mean teaching, mean prophecy, mean evangelizing, the fivefold ministry. Stay blessed. Stay in tune. God bless you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Keep on. Goodbye. Until next time, in Jesus Christ. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some love. Give me some appreciation. I don't want God's light. I don't want God's glory. All glory given unto Jesus. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth.